name is Haley Hanneman. We are members of the Aurora FCCLA chapter from Aurora, Nebraska, and today we will be teaching you how to make a twist on a popular 1950s dish, meatloaf. Grace and I created our meatloaf recipe from scratch and decided to really make it our own by turning them into cupcakes with mashed potato frosting. In this video, we will cover how to make meatloaf cupcakes, what size to serve them with, and a few table setting tips and tricks. Let's get cooking! Hang on, we don't look very prepared to be in a 1950s cooking show. Ah, that's better. First, you'll begin by washing your hands and sanitizing all the countertops. Begin by preheating your oven to 350 degrees and spraying six holes of a muffin tin. Start with one pound of ground beef. We use the leanest so our meal is healthier. Next, add two small grated carrots, one fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one beaten egg, a half cup of milk, as much ketchup as your heart desires, one cup of breadcrumbs, and a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Don't forget to add seasonings of your choice. We included garlic powder, onion flakes, pepper, and salt. Mix it all together. Scoop up a half a cup of the meat mixture and form it into a ball. Press it into the muffin tin and repeat. Mix a half cup of ketchup and a tablespoon of brown sugar for a topping. Place a dollop on each cupcake. Pop these little loaves in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Make sure the beef is cooked to the proper temperature of 165 degrees. We used our favorite mashed potato recipe for the frosting. Make sure it's creamy but stiff enough to hold its shape. Our cupcakes are ready for frosting. Put your mashed potatoes in a decorating bag and pipe on top of the cupcake. Garnish the tops of our cupcakes with shredded cheese and parsley flakes. And here's our final product of an American classic with a twist. Now let's go over some swinging sides you can pair with your cupcakes. You can serve beef off and green beans, the twist breadsticks, tutti frutti dessert salad, and all shook up milkshakes. The more colorful your dish is, the more appealing it will be to the consumers. Filling your plate with a variety of food groups provides you a healthier and happier lifestyle, and it gives you the nutrients your body needs. The My Plate Daily Checklist from the USDA recommends two cups of fruits. They contain vitamin C to keep your immune system healthy. Two cups of vegetables have vitamin A to help your eyesight. They also suggest six ounces of grains for vitamin B. This gives you energy. Proteins contain minerals such as iron, potassium, and zinc to help your muscles stay strong. Five and a half ounces is recommended. And finally, three cups of dairy provide calcium to help keep your bones and teeth strong. These cupcakes can be served at a variety of different events. A dinner for your family, or in our case, a bash to celebrate Nebraska FCCLA's 75th anniversary. To add some nifty 50s flair, you can add some theme decorations to your table setting so it's the bee's knees. You can also set the table formally to make sure your party is peachy keen. To start your classy table setting, you'll first begin by placing your dinner plate an inch from the edge of the table. Put one fork on the left and the napkin next to it. The knife and spoon go to the right with the blade of the knife facing towards the plate. The dessert dish is placed above the plate and the dessert spoon is below it with the head of the spoon facing away. Finally, add your glass above the knife and voila! Now your guests can eat in style. Today we made me little cupcakes, talked about what size to serve them with, and provided a few table setting tips and tricks. Thank you for joining us and don't forget to stay classy! classy.